This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the extraction and purification of organic compounds. The products in drug synthesis often contain a mixture of compounds in addition to excess reactants, solvents, and catalysts. The high purity of drugs requires them to be isolated and purified using a range of experimental techniques. Drugs can be isolated and purified based on differences in solubility and volatility. We'll start by looking at solubility. Polar molecules are soluble in polar solvents. Polar molecules are molecules which have functional groups such as a carboxyl group, a hydroxyl group, or an amine group. Molecules with the functional groups shown above are able to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules and are therefore soluble in water, which is a polar solvent. Molecules with nonpolar or hydrophobic functional groups are soluble in nonpolar solvents. Examples of hydrophobic functional groups include the phenyl group and a hydrocarbon chain or an alkyl group. So molecules with the functional groups shown above are fat soluble due to the London dispersion forces that exist between the molecules. Next, we look at the solubility of different functional groups starting with the alkanes, which are soluble in non-polar solvents. This is because alkanes are non-polar molecules and are only able to form London dispersion forces between the molecules. At the top of the list, we have the amides, carboxylic acids and alcohols, which are soluble in polar solvents, such as water. These are able to form hydrogen bonds between themselves and water molecules. This leaves us with the ketones, aldehydes, and esters. These are slightly soluble in polar solvents, but the solubility decreases as the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases. And finally, we'll have a quick look at the volatility of the different functional groups. So as we go from the alkanes up to the amides, the boiling point increases. In terms of volatility, the compounds become less volatile. So alkanes are the most volatile and amides are the least volatile. The volatility depends on the type of intermolecular forces that exist between molecules. So amides, carboxylic acids and alcohols with their hydrogen bonding are less volatile. Ketones, aldehydes and esters with their dipole-dipole forces are more volatile and alkanes with their weak London dispersion forces between molecules are the most volatile. Next we look at solvent extraction. In solvent extraction the mixture is poured into a separating funnel and a non-polar solvent such as hexane is added. The non-polar components of the mixture dissolve in the non-polar solvent. Two layers are formed with a less dense layer on top with each layer containing the polar or non-polar components of the mixture. So here we can see the two layers that are formed with the less dense layer on top. The lower aqueous layer is removed, leaving the non-polar layer containing the non-polar component of the mixture. In the final step, the hexane is evaporated and the product is obtained. Finally, we look at fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is used to separate two or more components with different boiling points. When the mixture is heated, both fractions evaporate and rise up the fractionating column. The vapor of the fraction with the highest boiling point will condense in the column and run back into the round bottomed flask. The vapor of the fraction with the lowest boiling point will enter the condenser, condense and flow into the conical flask. 